So this is the Doug Fur main mast that we are building in a shop over the next few weeks. Um, all of the spars that we're building are Douglas fir. It's a very common wood to use for, for spars. It's durable but flexible. It's not too heavy. You don't want to have a lot of weight aloft. Um, so for spar making, we try to use light woods, but that are also relatively strong. This spar has a slight taper in it. Frank has laid out a fiberglass batten um, according to the architect's um, dimensions uh, to lay out that slight taper. This is the lower mast. There is a piece that joins to it, which is called the top mast. Um, the top mast can be raised and lowered. It's separate, but it sits uh, sort of forward of this mast um, to, to get additional length. So that's what we're working on here. Um, you can see the first, we've got one uh, surface uh, to work off of. For something like this, that's, that's really all you need. Yeah. Depending on how you're making it, your cut can establish perpendicular faces that you then will work down to a, 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 a line drawn, transitioning to an eight-sided shape after it's four-sided, 16-sided shape, which will be laid out. Um, and then a, a 32, and then to round, which is a lot of work, uh, sanding work for probably at least a week or two.